Hi Shelly, Oceana here with G3 Agency with your free website audit for advanced concrete lifting in Denver, Colorado. In this free SEO website audit provided by G3 Agency, I'm going to show you three to four things that you can do to get ACL in front of people searching for concrete lifting and caulking services in the greater Denver, Denver metro area. Uh, like I said to Jake on the phone, I don't expect anything in return for this video. I would love some feedback from you um, on whether it was helpful and whether um, it was clear because I'm always trying to improve these videos. Um, I really care about locally and uh, family owned businesses. Uh, and this is my way of positively affecting as many as I can this year. So uh, let's jump right in. <clears throat> I apologize. My voice is a little bit hoarse. I've been doing <laughs> a lot of videos, so I've been talking a lot. Um, okay, so the first thing that I always look for on every site that I audit is a big click to call phone number up here. And it's great. You've got that. That's going to help the 70% of, of visitors that are actually on their mobile phones. Uh, the next thing I always look for is content. How many words are on the home page? and uh, also the back pages. Uh, you don't have very many words. Uh, you are going to want to increase this to, uh, we always recommend 3,000 or more words on the home page and 1,500, 1, so 1,500 on the other pages. The reason for this is that content is king with Google. Google thinks more, more uh, words on the matter must mean you must know more about it and will help push you to the top of the search results in front of people looking for your services. Uh, and then if I right click on an image, um, this one doesn't look like it's going to play nicely with me. I bet you your gallery has some nice images. Let's go check that one out. La 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 la. Aha, beautiful. Okay, so if I click on this image and I right click it, click save image as, I can see that this was saved as image 018. So that's not helping you. Uh, what you're going to want to actually do is save these images again, but this time save them as key phrases that someone would type in uh, when looking for your services. Uh, and I'll show you how to find out what uh, keywords are going to do you good there um, <laughs> in a minute. Uh, but first, I want to introduce you to the tool that I will use, which is Arifs. So this is a tool that my agency uses. I love this thing. It gives us an in-depth look into how a website is performing. Um, so it's one thing if a website looks nice, which your website looks fine, um, but it's another for it to actually function as a lead generation machine, uh, which is what I do. <laughs> I'm more of a functional person than, than a, um, a pretty pretty things kind of person. Um, <laughs> it's got to work. <laughs> so uh, first of all, this UR and DR score, your UR score is uh, stands for your URL rating, and it is on a scale from 0 to 100, how trustworthy does Google think that your website is. In this, uh, the UR is actually for the specific uh, page that we put in, which in this case is your home page. Um, and you have a 24 and that's a decent score. You definitely want to increase it, but it's a pretty good starting point. Um, what concerns me though is your DR score here is very low, which means that, um, and your DR score is the same thing except for your entire site instead of just that one page. So what this tells me is even though you've got these referring domains and backlinks coming in, and I'll explain those in a second, um, you, <clears throat> Pardon. <laughs> uh, you've got those just coming basically to your home page and you're not doing much on the other pages, which is calling it causing an imbalance and it creates, um, you know, an unstable foundation for um, for building your trust with Google. Um, and then backlinks and referring domains. You may or may not know this. I'm not sure who's been working on your backlinks, but someone's been <laughs> sending your backlinks. And so what a backlink is, is um, from any other website on the on the internet, uh, any link that comes back to your website is a uh, is a backlink, and each one of those websites where there's a link to your site is called a referring domain. So we have 34 different websites pointing to your site with links, a total of 109 times. Um, that's a good little start, um, and I can actually tell you if those are going to be good or not. Um, I think they're probably going to be pretty good because this, this UR score is nice. 
Um, you've got a couple really low ones. So this right here, DR, this is where I'm looking. And I really like to see DR scores in this column that are higher than your DR score, um, which is not going to be too difficult. But you really want to start out in like the 20s. You probably don't really want this one, but um, it's not terrible to have. You probably really don't want these um, zero scores. They're going to be dragging you down and making you look suspicious in Google's eyes. So that's what you want to do. You want to go through, see if you can get these taken off actually, and then go and get yourself more of these higher um, backlinks and that's going to help build your trust with Google and get um, a higher DR score that's going to help push you to the top of the results. Okay and then over here we have organic keywords and organic traffic as you can imagine those go together. Um, organic keywords here is defined like um, how many different phrases could a person type into Google and have you come up in the first 100 results? Um, unfortunately, being the 11th result and being not existence at all is basically the same thing because um, over 90% of people who search on Google never leave the first page. Um, and uh, so you're, if you're on the second page, you're hardly getting anybody to see you at all. And it's not very likely that they're going to like the 11th result if they didn't like the first through 10th. So um, basically, uh, you really want to be on that first page and those top 10 results, uh, which is why you can be showing up for 35 different keywords here and only be getting five traffic. This is five visitors coming to your site from organic traffic from Google. So if I click on that, I can see um, foam jacking. You are getting a few visitors a month from that. Uh, here we have your position in 12. So that's like I said on the second page is just not doing you much good. Um, but there's another reason that this isn't a great keyword for you. It is something that you may do, um, but there's no mention of the area you're in. So this is what we call a national keyword. And it seems nice because there's good high volume, but uh, without that area listed, this volume is shared between the entire United States. So this means that most likely most of those searches are happening in Chicago, New York, and LA, which is where most searches happen. And any city that's not those three is basically getting um, just about zero traffic from those because anybody who's searching for foam jacking could be anywhere. <laughs> so you really want to look for um, ones like this where Advanced Concrete Colorado Springs, um, well this isn't a um, buyer intent keyword because it's a brand keyword um, and now I'm getting into other stuff. But you want to have keywords that are high volume, have lots of people searching for them. Um, low KD, this is keyword difficulty. Um, Keyword difficulty is on a scale from zero to 100, how difficult does Arabs think it will be to get to the front page of Google? Um, and so we really like to go after KDs below five. Um, KDs below 20 are fairly um, doable with some long-term plans in place. And um, anything above that is going to take some serious investment, um, both money and time in order to really get up there because that means there's high, higher competition. Um, and so it's just a good way to kind of tell how difficult it's going to be and therefore how costly and time consuming it's going to be to get to the first page. So we really like five and under. So like this four, that's fantastic, uh, except that it doesn't mention the area. Uh, so you don't have a lot of great ones here. I'm going to go into um, some that I did like. Uh, so I did a little research for you, um, found a couple that are decent volume and low keyword difficulty. Um, I usually work with um, people who are laying concrete as I have more experience with that than lifting. Uh, so I had to kind of change up my rhythm here a little bit and there may be, uh, I may have the wrong idea about your keywords. Uh, so I apologize if this is a little bit off and you're thinking, I don't do that. You know, I, I apologize. Um, if you want to come back to me and say, Hey, this is actually something that, um, that I do do. And this is how people would find me on, on Google. Then, um, I'd be happy to uh, go through over this little part again for you with some more accurate information. Um, so I'm doing my best. Here we go. <laughs> so um, 
when I put in concrete lifting in Denver, that had a pretty high keyword difficulty with 20, and the volume is very low at 20. So it may not be something that would be worth going after, but it may, depending on uh, how much, uh, basically how much you get for each of the jobs. If this is a high ticket item, then that 20 month may actually be helpful, uh, but you're not going to be seeing all of those coming to your site. So uh, you're really going to be seeing probably about 30, 30 of them if you were at the top and with that 20, 20 KD, it would just be, it would take forever. So um, hopefully Concrete Repair Denver is something that's accurate for you guys. Uh, with 60 volume, that's getting a start at least. So that'd be about mm, 20 visitors or so a month. And then however many convert on your site. And then, you know, but that's assuming you're in the front in the first place, which is not something that I can guarantee. And it's also, um, it's also not going to happen overnight, even if we are able to get you to that point. I just want to let you know um, that this is very low volume and you may want to look into some other sort of marketing. But going forward with my favorite thing in the world, which is search engine optimization, um, uh, assuming that you decide to go after this and these three here are not too bad when it comes to keyword difficulty. Um, so depending on how expensive and how much you actually make uh, in your pocket is going to determine whether or not this is actually worth it for you, but that's a decision you're going to have to make. Okay, now that I got that out of the way. Um, so if I put concrete repair in De Denver, which, um, how many was it? 60 people do every single month, or at least they did last month, and it gen ten tends to generally, my stutter today is just out of control. I apologize. Uh, usually I don't stutter quite this much. <laughs> It's just an off day, I guess. Um, okay, so I put in Concrete Repair Denver for you. And usually there's some ads at the top. Uh, people usually scroll past those. And then we have the Google Map Pack. Uh, how you get up here is by making sure that your Google My Business listing is correct with the accurate information, specifically your name, address, and phone number. And then you want to take your name, address, and phone number and plaster it over these different directories like Yext, City Star, White Pages, Yellow Pages. Each time that this occurs that you have uh, your name, address, and phone number listed on one of these sites, it counts as a citation and it does help with your credibility um, and will push you up the map pack and if you're in the top three you'll be shown on the first page and that's really fun but not as fun as sitting in this position here. This position gets that 30% of traffic that comes to this site that I was talking about or this page I mean. Um, and so you do want to be sitting in this spot. This is the one that will probably get about 20 visitors a month. Uh, and we can like, take a look at what they're doing and think, hmm, what is it that they're doing right? What can we copy? What can we do be better than them at uh, so that we can surpass them? So they do have quite a bit more words on their homepage than you do. But I bet you it's not anywhere near that 3,000 mark that I talked about. So... If I take that, I throw these in here. Yeah, 685, that's still not very much. So you wanna lift that up to 3000, really outdo them in that way. Uh, and then if they, let's see if they were saving images correctly. Uh, stamped concrete stairs, Denver, yeah. So they are using, um, they're using that trick. So you're gonna want to do that just to keep up with them. Uh, and that way it's possible to surpass them. And then here they are in Arifs, and you can see that their UR score is higher than yours, and so is their DR, uh, but they're still not really working on their entire website as much as they're working on their homepage, or yeah, it's their homepage. So um, it, they don't have a very stable foundation, so making sure that yours is pretty even here, and uh, uh, that's going to help you a lot. And then we can actually go in here into their organic keywords. We can check out what they have and see if any of them would also work for us. Okay, so that is it. I'm running out of time. 15 minutes is my limit on uh, YouTube. So here's my number. Here's my email address. Um, let, make sure you have more content on your homepage and other pages. Implement backlinks and add citations. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. I would be happy to go over any of this with you. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Okay, bye.